Very pleasant. Good morning, everybody. My name is Kevin Simpson, alongside my teammate and partner, David Benny. I'll be doing the play-by-play. -play. DB's going to be doing the color commentary for this game. We're at the Southeastern uh, Complex for Iowa State University, Indianapolis Thunder, the Indy Thunder, and the Boston Renegades. Daxon's ready for the 0-3. Fly ball into short center field over his Tello, but he's not going to be able to make a play. This guy's too fast. Hey, to hey, Tello hey, did not immediately hey, come in. I'm not sure what the call is, but he went straight. He took a straight angle towards center field. Two wrong steps, and man, I tell you what, this guy's too fast to take a wrong step. I don't know if it was the spot or just he misheard the ball, but he was unable is this to get Diaz? it. Yeah, this is a guy. So yeah. Is a run for the Boston Renegades. Christian Thaxton now batting for the Renegades. Number 18, Rob Dias. So Rodenbeck is playing the three, I mean directly behind Rodriguez. Here's the pitch. Fisted into center field. Tello's going to be over and make the play easily. Although Diaz got some wheels, man. And Rob Diaz has got some wheels, but Tello put him out easily. That's a solid play by the kid over there. Miguel did a good job tracking that. The spotter reeled him right in with a very quick call. Now batting for the Renegades, number 81, Larry Hale. Hale. With one out here in the top of the first, the score is one to nothing early. Renegades on top. First pitch lined in the left field. Rodriguez is angling back. He can't make the play. Hale's there. He went down just a step early, DB. Just a step early. Run scores, Larry Hale. Run scores for the Renegades. Number 53, Sean Devinish. Down the third base line. Now, Eric Rodriguez took a great angle to it, but he stopped just a step short, and it went off the very tip of his fingers, and uh, by the time he got it back up, it That's was too late. Here's the 0-2-1-2. Fly ball into short center field. This should be easy money for Miguel, but he overruns it. But he's got it back up in time for now. And that ends the top of the first. The Renegades get two runs as we go to the bottom of the first. It is Boston 2 and the Indy Thunder coming to bat. The one drilled in the right center, and that ball is crushed right at that is not, I'm sorry, that's Christian Thaxton, not Devinish in right center. My mistake. That is and a run that, for the Indy Thunder, Gerald Dykus. Now batting for the Indy Thunder, number 13, Toby Gregory. Thaxton had a chance at that, not a good chance. That ball was crushed. He went down on it. It deflected off of his body. That ball is just mashed. The scouts must have seen something. Here's a ground ball right to Thaxton. <laughs> Thaxton's over, and he can't make the play. Easy ball, a room service is stuck right a in his lap. For Toby Gregory, done for the Indy Thunder. But he couldn't field it cleanly. Couldn't field it cleanly. So now we've got uh, Zap Bueller. 18. First pitch to you. He's grounded up the middle, and Daxton's got a good chance at this one. He makes the play this time. <laughs> good play by Christian Daxton. Number. 39, Tyler Rodriguez. That was a well-hit ball by uh, Zach Bueller, but right at Daxton. Unlucky, man. <laughs> it was an easy play to make, but one, one, one that he made solidly. If he thinks they're off. Fly ball in a short left field over Proctor. He slips on his butt and can't make the play. <laughs> he took an inward angle, and then when That's he hurt... run for Tyler Rodriguez in the Indy Thunder. Now batting for the Indy Thunder, number 41, Adam Rodenbeck. Rodenbeck. <laughs> so Proctor came in on that ball. The ball landed at about 100 feet, right on the third, or near the third baseline in the one zone. And as Proctor came up and heard the ball going over his head, he tried to put on the brakes, but his feet slipped right up from under him and he ended up on his book. First pitch to Rodenbeck, drilled in the left, right at Thon. And he's down early, but he's got it. Oh, oh and now retires the side. And yep. that retires the side, the put out by Wynn. Wynn on the put out, and at the end of one, it's the Indy Thunder three and the Boston Renegades two. By Wynn, now Wynn plays with a glove. Oh, really? Yeah, Wynn's got a glove, and so he's got a glove on his right hand. Now, he went down extremely early There's for that a... ball, but he knew, I mean, he had a... He hit it on the right path, so it came right to his There's chest. There's only a few uh, players in our sport that play with a glove. It's not required, and in fact, it's not common. And he's a little bit deeper than Tyler. 
high fly ball into very short left field. Just now hit, spins away from Rodriguez, and he's there. <laughs> oh, the guy's fast. That's tough when those balls hit and spin away. That is a run for the Renegades, a run for Thaxton. Thaxton. Now batting for the Renegades. Number 18, Rob Dias. Here's the pitch. Drilled left field. That ball is crushed. Adam Brodenbeck has a chance, but nope, can't make the play. Dias with a ring. Hey, that was a shot, is what that was. That is a run for the Renegades. Rob Dias, run for the Renegades. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Adam took the perfect angle for that ball. Getting further away from him as running back tried to track him down. That ball's crushed. Probably ended up about 220 feet on the roll. Crushed left field. First pitch over his run. But it went into foul territory after it was already fair and the run scores. That is an earned run. Number 30, Joe Yi. There's a ground ball right up the middle. That's Rodriguez territory. That's too easy. He's out. Boston with two runs in the second. We go to the bottom three. of the three runs, excuse me. We go to the bottom of the second. Five, three, Renegades. Here, Eric Rodriguez is going to lead us off here in the bottom Ooh. half of the second. That ball smoked in the right center. That one's just landing. Oh, that's has got a hand on it, but it's gone. Yeah. That's a run for the Indy Thunder. A run for Eric Rodriguez. That ball was crushed in the right center field, and it now landed. batting for the Thunder, number landed 10, probably Gerald 20 Dykus, feet in Dykus. front of Thaxton, and he stuck his arm out. He nearly got a piece of that ball. You only get one chance with Eric Rodriguez. They had a lot of big trucks coming through here yesterday. Uh, makes it a little bit harder to hear the ball. That ball is crushed in the center. Yeah, Thaxton's giving chase, but it bounced over him. And Gerald, I'm sorry. Yeah, Gerald Dykus to base. Second run of the game. That is a run for the Thunder. Baxton playing in the two zone, and he had to go all the way to the three and a half or four to try to make that play. It's just too much, too much ground to make up. They don't have Kyle Lewis in their starting lineup. He had a little groin issue. First pitch, Gregory grounded to Proctor. Proctor missed the ball. It's going out to Yee. He can't make the play. Unbelievable, easy grounder. That's a base. run for the Thunder, a run for Toby Gregory. So there's three straight in the bottom half of the second. And now Boston, batting for the Thunder. Boston needs to get this under control right away. Zach Bueller. Just a pitch, grounded into the left center field. It's by Proctor, out to E. Cut off by Zuccarello, but he couldn't make the play. He was in position that for it. That is a run for the Thunder, a run for Bueller. There's another fly ball to right field. Thaxton went down too early, and he's not going to make the play. Rodenbeck scores on a good line drive to right field. That's a run for the Indy Thunder, a run for Adam Rodenbeck. Now batting for the Indy Thunder, number seven, Eric Rodriguez. Here at our very good friends back home. Line drive left field, gets under Proctor, gets by Yee. Tail's got no chance. That's going to be a run. That ball is clubbed. Wow. That is a... Come on, Mike. That is a run for Eric Rodriguez. Another run for the Indy Thunder. Now batting for the Thunder, number 10, Gerald Dykett. Makes the score 9-5 to five with one out here in the bottom half of the second. It would feel a little bit better about their chances if McCormick was uh, in the game with them now. Injuries are a part of the game, but he's such a big part of the Renegades. Anyway, here comes G, and he just grounds one slowly to Diaz. Diaz is up. He's clean. Nice play. I got to say that Gerald Dykus was about five feet off target on the right field side of the third baseline. He's doing push-ups. <laughs> he's going to knock out 20 for missing the base, even though I don't think he would have. That is a put-out by Dias, a put-out. I don't, think, you, I don't think he would have made it to the base anyway. Now batting for the Thunder, number 13, Toby Gregory. Here's a ground ball right to Proctor. Gets out of the way and lays down. I'm not getting this. He's it there, and he's able to get it off the ground. But Close play, then, but they got him. Number, yes. uh, yeah. And that ends the inning on a put out for the Renegades. And at the end of two, your score, the Indy Thunder, nine. The Boston Renegades, five. Zuccarello.
Takes the 0-1. Fly ball into left field. Gets by Rodriguez. Over is Tyler Rodriguez. He kicks it, but gets it in time as Zuccarello ran by the base. Uh, Put out by the Thunder, Tyler Rodriguez. Heading for the Renegades. Number two, Christian Faxton. Faxton. The upper deck. Here's the 0 1 grounded weakly in the left field. Tyler Rodriguez is over, but he can't field it cleanly. It's a kind of a banana route. That is to the a ball. run for Faxton and the Renegades. Hey, that guy, you better go straight to the ball. Now batting for the Renegades, 18, Rob Diet. So here's the 0 3. Loads up, hits one into short right field. Now that's going to spin towards the line. Tello's on it. Makes the play. Nice play oh, by Tello. That was a nice play. Angling back from his position at the three. Angling back and to his right to the two position. Got it on two hops. Knocked it down. Picked it up cleanly. Great play. Now, now batting for the Renegades, number 81, Larry Hale. Hale. Well, two outs here in the top half of the third. Oh, there's a line drive into right field, and Toby's got it. Great play by Gregory to retire him. Put up for the Thunder, made by Toby Gregory. Gregory on the put out, and that ends the top of the third inning. Number nine, the Boston Renegades, six. Nine, six, Indy Thunder. And that was a big play. You know, Hale uh, hit a nice line drive, got by Tello, but, I mean, uh, Toby uh, just never was off track with that one. He looked really comfortable, got it straight in the chest, solid play. The Indy Thunder. Very high fly ball in the short center field. Bounces over Zuccarello, and by the time Zuccarello circled around to get the ball, it was too late. It's a run for the Indy Thunder, a run for Zach Bueller. That was a great now play by Zuccarello. Thunder, number 39, the Tyler ball bounced Rodriguez. In front of him. Rodriguez. It bounced high behind him. He circled around the ball, made a great play on it, but the speed of uh, Bueller uh, was able to beat it out. Now we've got a 10 to 6 lead here. Keep them out of the heat and charge them up right away if they start going dead. Don't let them sit around. Here's the 0 1 deep fly ball on the left center field. Only Hale's got a shot at this one. He makes the play. But too late, he beat it out. Close play, but it's a run. It's a, another run for the Indy Thunder, Tyler Rodriguez. And now batting for the Indy Thunder, number 41, Adam Rodenbeck. There's a line drive into right center field. Baxton's over, but down early. It gets by him, and Rodenbeck ah. scores. Ah. Now batting for the Thunder, number seven, Eric Rodriguez. But they're running into high fly ball up the middle by Eric Rodriguez. Zuccarello's got a chance, not a very good one, because he's so fast. <laughs> this is a team on a mission. Gerald Dyke is number 10. So with four in, that makes it 13 to 6 with a zero outs. Sir. I believe you now. Becoming lawnmowers. Here's a high fly ball into right field. Daxon's got a chance. But it bounces over his leg. These aren't line drives anymore. He's nuts on top of their bats. For the league president to handle the bases. Yeah, there's another fly ball in the center field. Zuccarello overruns it. Hale's got a beat on it, but he's too late. That is another run for the Indy Thunder, Toby Greger. Boston is on these balls, man. There, there is no quit in these guys. They are on it. A lot of line drives, a lot of fly balls. There's a ground ball in the left field, gets by uh, the shortstop. Wynn's got a chance, and he's got him. Nice play by Thon Wynn. That is a put out for the Renegades. Thon Wynn on the put out. Very good. Now batting for the Thunder, number 39, Tyler Rodriguez. Number eight, and Wynn on that play, the previous play, sorry. There's a high fly ball into short right center field. Over is both Proctor and Dias. Dias has it up, and he's got him out. Nice play by Dias. Nice play by Rob Dias. <laughs> oh, two outs. Rodenbeck dialed in. Swing and a line drive to left center field. A herald territory, but he moved out of the way of the ball. Gone. And judging by the way that Brian Grillo is hitting his clipboard, it was not a good spot. What is a run for the end of Thunder. Run for Rodenbeck. Number seven. I say that because it was yours truly's old number when I played for the Indy Thunder. DB, I'm pretty sure nobody cares.
Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Mom's here. Ground ball down the left field line. Wins over. What a play. This guy came to play. Nice play. Nice play. Nice play by Wynn to retire Rodriguez. And that's the end of the inning on a put out by Wynn. Wynn on the put out. The Indy Thunder now lead by the score of 16 to 6 after three innings. Three innings complete. By the way, I want the record to reflect that my mother cares no. that I wore number no, seven. I talked to her. She doesn't <laughs> care either. We can find out why, but. Hold on, there's the pitch grounded up the middle by Devinish. Tello is on the move, so is Eric Rodriguez. Rodriguez beats him to the ball. Indy Thunder put out. Here's the 1-1. Uh, one, one. It's fly ball in the center field. Zach's got a chance at it. Nope, cut off by Rodriguez. Nice play. Eric Rodriguez. You know, it looked like that ball was uh, hit a little bit better than it ended up. You know, it landed about 75, 80 feet. It looked like a line drive that was going to keep going out and make it out to uh, Zach Bueller. But it hung up just enough for Tyler Rodriguez to go from his position at three to uh, a five position and, and make that play. Angling back to his left. Nice play by by uh, Eric Rod yeah, Rodriguez now taking over this game. He's got the last two putouts. Zuccarello needs to turn this order back to Thaxton. Here's a ground ball to Tello. That's not going to get it done. No, Tello easily. Crushed That's it. it. Tello crushed that, man. He that is a right cutout for the Indy Thunder made by Miguel Tello. That is a Three up, three down inning for the Indy Thunder defense. And as we go to the bottom of the fourth, the score remains. Indy 16, Boston 6. There's a ground ball up in the center field. Dias is over and he's got an easy play. Well done by Dias. Dykus kind of missed the base, but that was a pull out. This game, so. There's a high fly ball in the short center field. Diaz goes back too far. Proctor's off his game. Does not make the play. And that's another run for the Indy Thunder. A run for Gregory. Outstanding performance so far for the Thunder. There's a high fly ball in the right Sad center field. Hammer. And it bounces over Zuccarello. Nice try. Not in time. And there's the twin. And that's another run for the Indy Thunder. A run for Zach Bueller. And we are now in the 12 run rule. 12 run rule in effect. All right, so they moved Larry Hill to deep right center? I don't know. It seems like you're taking the drug addict to the pharmacy here, man. Yeah. They list, he's a left field hitter. Oh, no, he goes to center short. Proctor's over. He's got a good chance at this one. Now he makes a play. There you go, Proctor. Proctor from the Renegades. 28 on the put out. Yeah, absolutely. Ground ball up center field right into Zuccarello territory. He's going to make that play. Easy play for Zuccarello. Retires the side. And that's a put out for the Renegades. Uh, guy Zuccarello on the put out. And that is the end of the inning. At the end of four, the score. The Indy Thunder, 18, the Boston Renegades, 6, and once again, we have now entered the 12-run rule. The Boston Renegades will now bat until they use up the rest of their outs, or, or tie the game. So they've got six outs remaining, and waiting for the 0-1. Grounded right to Eric Rodriguez. He knocks it down and he's up with it. What a, wow. play. What a play. Put out for the Indy Thunder. Number seven, Eric Rodriguez on the put out. So now I guess uh, I guess the five outs away. Ouch. Diaz with a ground ball right down the third baseline. Rodriguez with a perfect angle. Nice play by Rodriguez. <laughs> Eric Rodriguez is clinching this thing now. That's another put out for the Indy Thunder, Eric Rodriguez. Two outs in the fifth. In the game, that's what makes their defense go. Ground ball barely to the 40-foot line. Rodriguez is up, and he's going to make day. this play, too. All day. And yet another put out for the Indy Thunder, made by number seven, Eric Rodriguez. And that will conclude the fifth inning, and we will now go to the top of the sixth inning. Thunder 18, the Boston Renegades 6. Devinish with a ground ball up the middle. Rodriguez, nice play. 
<laughs> and another put out for the Indy Thunder, made by Eric. So now Tim Cyphers is going to try to get to base for the Boston Renegades with one out here in the last of the sixth. Here's a ground ball right up the middle. Guess who's over there? Dello. <laughs> and Miguel put out for the. So we're down to the final out. Ron out Thayer, the Miguel final Tello. hope Tello. for the Boston oh, Renegades. Down to their final out. All the cell phones are out. Flash bulbs are popping. Oh. The pitch from Cochran. Swung on a miss. That's a ball, ball game. game, and your champion for 2016 is the Indy Thunder. Congratulations to the Indy Thunder. Congratulations to Darnell Booker and that organization, a class organization. Circle City, go crazy. Go crazy. You've got an MBBA World Championship.